Masaya mag-aral ng sensa with Sir Adrian Miranda. Good day learners! Welcome back to my class. For this video, we are going to talk about how to examine and focus the specimen under the microscope. For our most essential learning competency, you should be able to focus a specimen using the compound microscope. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! The specimen to be used depends on the topic you want to study. If you want to study the animal cell, you can scrape a tiny piece of the sample on your cheek using a clean toothpick. On the other hand, if you want to study plant cell, you can use the skin of the onion. When using a plant or animal specimen, make sure to slice it thinly so that light will be able to pass through them. For this lesson, we will use the letter E cut out from a newspaper as a specimen. This will be our practice experiment before studying specimen from living organisms. Here are the steps we need to follow in preparing the specimen in a wet mount. A wet mount is a glass slide holding a specimen suspended in a drop of liquid such as water for microscopic examination. Step 1. Cut out small letter E from a newspaper clipping. Step 2. Place the cut out letter E in a glass slide. Step 3. Add a drop of water using a dropper or cotton ball. Step 4. Position the cover slip 45 degrees with one side touching the edge of the water and slowly lower the cover slip until it covers the specimen. Step 5. Tap the cover slip gently by an eraser end of a pencil until the bubbles move towards the cover slip edges. After preparing the wet mount, we now proceed to viewing the specimen. A field of view is the bright circle of light under the microscope. Step 1. Place the slide on the stage. Make sure the specimen is in the center of the hole in the stage. Always start with the low power objective. And always secure the slide using the stage clips. Step 2. Watching from the side, carefully lower the body tube until the end of the low power objective almost touches the cover slip. Step 3. Look through the eyepiece. Slowly turn the course adjustment knob upwards to raise the objective until the letter E appears. Continue until you see the letter E clearly. This will indicate that you successfully focus on the specimen. This will be the image seen under the microscope. The image seen is inverted and enlarged. Why is this so? This is because compound microscope uses more than one lens located on the eyepiece and the objectives. And also because the lenses are convex lenses. Aside from the image form, these lenses also affect the movement of the slide. For example, if you will move the stage knob to the right, the specimen will move to the left, as seen under the microscope. Step 4. To shift the high power objective, raise the body tube first. Looking from side, turn the revolving nose piece to put the high power objective in place. Step 5. When the high power objective is already in place, Using the fine adjustment knob, slowly lower the objective till it almost touches the cover slip. Observe the difference between the image form in a 40 times objective versus a 100 times objective. What did you notice? The field of view gets smaller as you increase the power of the lens. You will only see a portion of the specimen when the magnification increases. 
Let us recall the magnifying power of the microscope. Magnification or magnifying power is the ability to enlarge image of the object's length in one direction but not changing the actual size. The numeric inscription written in the eyepiece and objectives tells us how many times the microscope actually magnifies an object. The object's magnification can be computed by multiplying the magnification of the eyepiece and the magnification of the objectives.